by the sword, you die by the sword. I probably die in the vocal boost. What's good, players of pimps, hoes, the Simpson ladies? What's poppin'? It's your boy Zay, aka the baddest motherfucker walking, aka the Shogun, and welcome to my dojo. Make sure you double edge them swords so we can slice this video up. I know she, she wants to sleep with you, part four. Your ability to pull back. Women want the chase too. And it's because we are programmed to want the thing that we have to try for, not that's just given to us. And don't think this is playing games or you're being unnatural. Women need this space to feel like they can come to you. It empowers them. The reason that this works is that if you continue to stack forward and escalate flirtation, only receiving a little bit of signals and not giving her the space to come try for you, it's gonna come off to her like, this deal between you two is going to be much sweeter for you than it ever was about her. An inability to pull back could look like incessant flirting, ignoring all of your friends just so you can continue to talk to her, holding eye contact, looking for any sign in her face that she's interested, and puppy dog body language. The best time to pull back is after you've made her laugh, or like during a general high of a conversation. Leaving her wanting more is the only way to create the space to get her to start chasing you. Yo, and this is this is absolute facts right here. This is absolute facts. Look, fellas, I've tried everything. I've tried everything. I've tried all of those little PUA shit that you motherfuckers used to do back in the day. I've tried saying certain words. I've tried everything that you guys could possibly do. I've made every mistake, so you guys don't have to. And the one and only thing that just worked all the fucking time was that magical pull back. <laughs> the magical, I can walk away from this bitch. That mindset is what I've, I've always gotten the most respect, the most ass. Well, I wouldn't say the most ass, but quality ass at that. Maybe the most ass. But just walking away was the only thing that ever worked 100% of the fucking time. Because number one, if I walked away and I didn't get what I want, at least I wasn't wasting my time. If I walked away and then I got what I want, I got what the fuck I want. So it's always a win-win situation. And most of the times, if you walk away from something and it don't come back, it wasn't really that interested in you in, you in the first place. That is an actual fact. And the reason why a lot of guys can't walk away, they just don't want to pull back, they gotta be bitches and thirsty as fuck for some ass, is because they think that if they walk away, that they almost had like, man, if I walk away, man, I mean, I mean, I, or, or, or a lot of times they think they're a gamer. Oh man, I could just gamer, man. I could just wait her out and do this and that. Or, but, 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 but if I walk away, man, and, and what if she did like me? If she did like you, nigga, you wouldn't have to walk away a lot of times. But to be honest with you, though, contradiction of that is there was not one bitch that I had never had to walk away from. There was none. There was no girl, which is why I always try to walk away as fast as I fucking can just to get the walking away part out the way because I want a bitch to know that I don't need her. I can walk the fuck out of her life anytime. And usually for some odd, stupid reason, it gets the bitch's panties wet. For multiple reasons. They know I'm not going to be no fucking stalker. They, in a way, in a way, in a woman's sick, uh, 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 sick, secluded mind, whatever the fuck, when you walk away from her, and she sees that you're just not this thirsty guy, number one, it, it, it commands to her that you are high, of high status. Not that you are of high status, but you have some type of, is there something different about you? Because she's never mo met most men who can't do that. And two, she know in a way that she kind of, it kind of gives her control. It's like an illusion of control when you walk away and you allow her to come now. Now it's like, okay, now I'm in control of this situation instead of the guy trying to muscle me and headlock me into doing whatever the fuck he want me to do. Now I feel like I'm in control of this situation. That's why women really get their panties wet when they got a guy who can walk away from her ass because it almost gives them some sense of control because now she's controlling the whole narrative. You get what I'm saying? 
Like now she she can call you when she feel like it in a way. Now she can do with this when she feel like it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's weird. Like now if she wants the relationship to if, if if she wants the relationship, she knows it's her idea for real for real. She actually wants you other than you talking her into it and then she not running she eh, I don't know. You get what I'm saying? Walking away just has its benefits, man. It has its benefits. You both benefit from you being able to walk away. There's a difference between walking away and you being able to walk away and never look back. Cause some guys think walking away as in, like I have fucking clients, you want me to walk away? So, so is, is she gonna come back when, when do I? Like you bitch made ass dude. You fucking pussy. No, she not coming back. And she ain't gonna come back until you forget about her ass. That, that's usually how it comes. But I don't even want to get too much off track because you have to be able to walk away. And to be able to get to that energy to where the point where, because you, you can get to a point where you don't have to walk away from women no more, right? Is that you have to walk away from more women to be able to have that energy to where you're dealing with a girl. And she could just sense that if you don't get what you want from her, that you have the ability to walk away. And you don't get that unless you've walked away plenty of times, unless that's in your aura, that's in your energy. People can read energy. I tell y'all guys this shit all the time. Women, even men can read energy. How do you know someone's a bitch without even having to talk to them? You can just read their energy. We wear our energies on our sleeves. So when you walk away from bitches left and right, and then you, 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 unless you get what you want, when you get women, let's say, let's say you're dealing with a woman, right? And let's say you're dealing with a girl who doesn't like to be recorded or who recorded while having intercourse. This is just an example, right? You're dealing with a woman who doesn't like being recorded during intercourse, but you want to record her. And you know that if she does not let you record her, you're going to walk away. And she can feel that if she values you more and she feels that you're going to walk away, she'll let you record it. She'll let you record it. I remember I heard this one thing from someone. It was a, it was an example. He was like, it was this one guy who was actually recording girls and he, he had mad bad joints that he was recording girls, giving them head. And then a guy asked him, he said, yo, how do you get these girls to, 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 to do this? He told him, he said, if they don't do it, I just stop talking to them. And he's done that so much over the time that women just comply because they can, they can feel his energy of actually, if they don't do this shit, he gone. I had another homie actually just brought me to something. I remember my homie told me something. I was in, um, this one I was living in uh, East Africa, right? I'm not gonna say specifically where I was at. Some of y'all know, some of y'all don't know. I'm not about to say it. I was in East Africa. And these specific women are known to not give, you know, um, top, you know, you, you know, you know what top is that they, they don't, they don't go down low. But my homie was telling me, he said, yo, bro, every girl that I've dealt with over here gives me top. And I said, shit, how the hell you get them to do that? He said, because it was a time to where if a girl didn't give me top, I wouldn't even fuck her. That's what he told me. And it made me believe it even more. I was like, yo, that shit is crazy. Cause I remember I heard that, heard what I just told you about that story. Until you get to the point where you're like, either I get what I want or I'm walking away, you're never gonna get what you want. So that broad that you wanna fuck so bad, right? Who ain't giving you that ass that you just can't walk away because that ass just so fucking fat. That ass just so goddamn fat, man. God damn, man. I can't get this one up. You ain't never gonna fuck her. You ain't never gonna fuck her. I remember I've gotten, I, I remember I, I was, um, I've coached guys and they had some girl playing some games with her and all I just tell them to do is just like, yo, stop fucking talking to her. Leave her ass on red. Leave her the fuck alone, bro. Stop talking to her. Cut the whole situation off. Stop being her friend. Stop giving her free shit, free validation, all this shit. And they just get ass off of that. Like, yo, man, it's been a week, two weeks, that two, whatever it takes. Two, three weeks later, bitch coming back crawling. <laughs> uh, it didn't work out. <laughs> now you gotta, yo, you gotta give me that ass. And they getting up getting the ass. 
A lot of guys don't understand that women will wait as long as they think that women will wait or make you wait for ass as long as they possibly can, as long as you willing to wait. If they can feel it in your energy and they can sense a man that when they're talking to who's willing to wait for some ass, they can sense that shit. It's in your energy, it's in the way you have conversations, in the way you talk. We just give off certain dirt, certain things. We know what to look for. Just like you know when you're dealing with a girl who's going to give you the ass fast. Like, you just know. So, fellas, you got to, sometimes you got you to know how to balance. Is that ass that big to where you're just about to just wait on it and then maybe not get it? Or you going you gonna to be a man? You're like, yo, I'm not waiting for that ass that you possibly then gave to some other nigga for free for fast. And you about to make me wait on some ass? That's why no bitch could ever make me really wait on some ass, man. And that's why I always get the ass within one or two dates. Tops. I don't even remember the last time I waited like three dates to get some ass with some girl, bro. I don't even remember because that's how much of in my energy and I'm not fucking with it. I've even dealt with virgins. Girls who were virgins who were gonna give me that ass. Because they understood that either I'm gonna get that ass or you gonna be getting your ass cooked or kicked to the grass, motherfucker. Feel me? The weakest, the weakest link in a negotiation is the person who can't walk away. So if you can't walk away from some ass, then you don't deserve the ass. Just like this girl said, because you basically, basically, the fact that you about to do all of this, for all this working for this ass, she, you're going to benefit more from getting her ass than she's going to be benefiting from getting your dick. Even if you have, you, you have great sex skills, the energy that you're putting out there is unattractive. This game, yo. I hope you niggas is taking notes, man. If you stay here to the end of the video, man, you the real MVP, man. I wish you guys nothing but wealth, health, happiness, and abundance, man. I'm done giving y'all the game, man. And I'm out. And until next time, deuces. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. I probably die in the vocal booth. Spit